Hello friends, this video on sound part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now we got to know that sound is produced by vibrations. Sound needs a medium to propagate. It can travel through solid, liquid and gas. Now the question is how do we hear sound? So sound is getting produced from some object. But how are we able to hear it? With the help of our ears. Yes, that's the simplest answer but how is our ear so equipped that it is able to interpret the sound waves or why is it that only our ear has the capability to hear so for that we will have to gain some understanding of the human ear so let's do that so ear is a sensitive organ which enables us to hear the sounds around us so, ear is the only organ which helps us to hear. So, let us quickly look at the different parts of the ear so that we, then only we will be able to understand how it helps us to hear. So, the various auditory parts, that means those parts of the ear which helps us in hearing. Now, the entire structure of the ear is divided into three parts, outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. So, outer ear is definitely the outer part which we see, which all of us can see from outside. That is outer ear which is also called as pinna. So, from outer ear starts the auditory canal. So, here you see a tube-like structure as you can see. Here. So the tube like structure goes deep inside. So if you put your a little finger inside your ear, you can actually see a, a tunnel like thing. So however, your finger will not go deep inside and you don't even try to do that. But what I'm trying to say is where you put your uh, finger in. So that is where your auditory canal starts. So this auditory canal goes deep inside and it reaches the eardrum. So here you have this green colored structure which you see here. So this is a membrane which is called the eardrum or the tympanic membrane. So what is there beyond this membrane? Beyond this membrane starts the middle ear. So this is the middle ear somewhere here. The red colored structure which you see here that is middle ear. So what is present in the middle ear? So that means this was your outer ear. From here starts the middle ear and this middle ear consists of three bones, malleus, incus and stapes. So you see malleus, incus and stapes. So these three bones together form the middle ear. So here you see this part. So that forms the middle ear. So middle ear is bony in nature you can say. And then if, if you go even deeper inside you reach the inner ear so inner ear is here so this structure which you see here so this part is the inner ear the purple colored structure which you see here so that is inner ear so this inner ear you have this coiled structure out here this structure is called cochlea and beyond that you have the auditory nerves. So here you see the nerves which are coming out of the inner ear. So these nerves are going to connect the ear to the brain. Because ear helps you to uh, perceive the sound. But how do you understand what you are hearing? For example, I'll tell, give you a small example. Let us suppose that uh, your friend is calling you by your name. So your ear will help you to listen to what he is saying. Say for example, suppose he is telling that come here. So your ear will help you to listen to these two words come here. But how do you know what he said? What, what, how do you interpret come here? How do you interpret the meaning of come here? So you will be able to interpret it only with the help of your brain. So there has to be a connection between your ear and the brain. So that connection is developed by the auditory nerve. So these are the different parts of the ear. So now we will talk about the function of each of these parts. So let us start with the outer ear that is pinna. So let us look at the functions of the various parts of ear. So we will start with the outer ear that is pinna. So this is the outer ear. 
So this is going to be the outer ear and what is its purpose? Its purpose is to collect sound from the surrounding. So obviously this is the outermost part. So its job will be to collect all the sound from the surroundings. Now and then it will send it inside through the auditory canal. This auditory canal here, the sound passes through this towards the eardrum. So as I told you, the sound will enter through the outer ear, then it will travel through the auditory canal and it will finally reach the eardrum. Now as I mentioned before, that eardrum is a membrane. Now you remember uh, the musical instrument like dholak and tabla where you had a membrane which was a stretched membrane and therefore it vibrated whenever, some, whenever somebody strike on it, it vibrates. So in a very similar way here also as the sound wave reaches the eardrum, eardrum being a membrane, it starts to vibrate. So this eardrum vibrates and the vibration of the eardrum that is what gets carried away inside the ear to the inner ear. So these vibrations are very critical. So that means we can say that eardrum plays a very important role in the process of hearing and that is why eardrum needs a lot of protection. So it, because it is the most vital organ, the most vital part of the ear uh, which plays an important role in the process of hearing. So we can say that the vibrating part of human ear is the eardrum, which is like a stretched membrane. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.